the reason I'm making this review is because I wish I had known these things about this quilt before I bought it. This is our review of the Z-Pax Double Quilt. It sure is warm. Are you warm? I'm dying. Is this Z-Pax Double Quilt worth $600? Let's find out. We've had this for a couple months now. It's been on five or six backpacking trips. We love it. It's very comfortable. It's very soft. You can see the loft on this thing. We did get the 20 degree rated quilt, so there's quite a bit of down in there. Now the way this quilt works is you sleep on your insulated air pad for warmth. And this does wrap around, but it it's open at the bottom. So it's like a blanket that wraps around you. In the bottom, there is the toe box. So there's about two or three feet, basically from your foot to your knee is gonna be totally enclosed. This thing does keep you warm. If you are still not warm enough, it does have individual draft collars. So this thing right here, this is a little flap in the middle and you can clip that around and then your head will be going through that hole right there. And then your partner can do that as well if they choose. Before we had this, we were using two down sleeping bags that we zipped together. And this is cutting our weight in half because this is the same weight as one of those down sleeping bags. This saves weight because it doesn't have the full wrap around all the way at the bottom and there are no zippers. But we find those to be unnecessary. That's the idea of a quilt. You do need an insulated air pad and that's going to keep your underside warm. But this thing is way better than a sleeping bag in my opinion. Much more like sleeping at home. We probably didn't need to get the extra long version but it's kind of luxurious to have that, that extra length and you can just really wrap it over your whole head and just get your whole body inside it if you're, if you're finding yourself cold at any point. So I believe this weighs about 26, 28 ounces, which is pretty good. Again, the weight of one of our lightweight sleeping bags and we were using two of those and zipping them together. And this is just a much better solution as far as weight, as far as comfort, as far as warmth. Now, are there any downsides to this? This is so great, right? 600 bucks, it sounds perfect. Well, two things you need to know about this, two downsides to this. Number one, it's going to bleed feathers. Every time you use this, you're gonna see three, four, five feathers coming out of there. You're just gonna constantly lose feathers on this. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna to take to make a significant difference, but as long as it stays very warm for the next five, six years, I'd say we get our money's worth out of it. I don't like that it bleeds feathers, but it does, and that's probably because this material is super, super thin, which is helping to make it super, super light. If you want to have something that doesn't bleed feathers, then the material that's holding those feathers in is going to be thicker and then it's going to be heavier. So there's going to be that trade-off whenever you're trying to use ultralight backpacking equipment. So I wanted to show you what I was talking about. So I was like, there's got to be a feather in here somewhere. There's one right there. Uh, oh, look, here's another one. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. It's just always going to be, you're always just going to be losing this kind of stuff. A second thing that you need to know about this. Another little downside, because of this extremely thin fabric, not only are you going to lose feathers, but it's very likely that you're going to rip this, okay? That's why it comes with tape that you can use to seal it up if you happen to rip it while you're out in the field. That's what happened to us first night out on this thing. First night out on this thing, we ripped it and repaired it with gaffer's tape. This does come with some special repair tape and we didn't have it with us at the time, but I used gaffer's tape and it's holding well, so I, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna keep it just like that. Uh, and if it starts to peel, then I'll put that special tape back on it. I called Z-Pax about this because I wasn't super happy that this thing ripped on our first night out. And they said it's not covered by warranty, but they did offer to fix it for free. So if I had wanted to, I could have sent it back to them and they would have sewed it up or patched it up and sent it back to me. Now, I didn't want to be without it because I didn't want to go back to the old two sleeping bags zippered together like we had before. So I just wanted to keep using it. The tape was holding up well and we haven't ripped it again. So I was afraid that we would just keep ripping it all the time, but I guess we just learned to be extra careful with it. And so we haven't ripped it again. The reason I'm making this review is because I wish I had known these things about this quilt before I bought it. Now, the big question, do I regret this purchase? Is it worth $600? I don't regret getting this. I think the delicateness of it 
is just the price you pay for having a super warm and super lightweight quilt. You're gonna bleed feathers and it's gonna rip easily. Just be aware that it's gonna bleed feathers and be extra, extra careful with it. All right, watch me get this big puppy sleeping quilt into this tiny little stuff sack. Here we go. Doing this hasn't damaged it. I do like to clip up the draft collar so it's a little neater. I'm gonna start with the foot box. Now I said you should be careful with this. And I'm gonna be as careful as I can, but I'm still gonna get it in here. Down compresses a lot, but it wants to expand. So as you're shoving this in here, it wants to keep coming out on you. Now you might want a slightly bigger stuff sack. I just like it to be as compact as possible. And I like to get an upper body workout. All right, so there it is. It's about 26, 28 ounces, all packed up pretty compact. I'd like it to be a little smaller, but it's pretty small for a double quilt. Now you have all the information to decide if this thing is worth $600 for you. For me, despite a couple of disappointing things about it, I'd buy it again.